Bye-bye. 
39 men distinctively handsome, each representing the different cultures from all around the globe. They've come to the Pearl of the Orient Seas to compete in the greatest competition of its kind. 39 men, only one will become Mr. International. The candidates of the 13th Mr. International We begin with Australia Brazil China Czech Republic Dominican Republic Hong 
Kong. Malaysia Mexico Russia. 
Esplanade in Manila, Philippines. This is the 13th Mr. International Competition. 
And now, please welcome your host, Mr. Michael Bristol. Mabuhay, Philippines! And welcome to the 13th, Mr. International! Let's give it once again for our contestants and thank you so much to Rizal Technological University, Mandaluyong. Good evening ladies and gentlemen, why don't you give yourselves a warm round of applause please? I would like to welcome you to my country, the Republic of the Philippines. By now, I'm sure that most of you have toured around and see what we've got. This country is so beautiful. We actually have beautiful sceneries, amazing nature, beautiful people, and no shortages of beauty competitions. <laughs> is that correct? We are home to some of the most beautiful men and women in the world. A big hand for that, come on! Indeed, it is more fun in the Philippines. So without a further ado, we began the competition with their national costumes. The costumes that the contestants wore were put together specially for Mr. International Competition. All the 39 costumes represent their nation in an elaborate display of color and culture from all around the world. This is actually a Mr. International tradition. And now let us give out our first award for the night. The contestants showcase their magnificent costumes representing their countries at Resource World Manila on the 17th of this month. And it is now time to award the Best in National Costume. And the best in national costume is... Nicaragua! Congratulations, ladies and gentlemen, Nicaragua! Thank you so much, contestants. Now, our selection committee for tonight is made up of leaders in business, entertainment, and philanthropy. They are looking for a diverse group of contestants who embody strength and determination. Ladies and gentlemen, let us all welcome our selection committee for the 13th Mr. International. Our first judge is Mr. International 2014. He is actually the first winner of Mr. International from the Philippines. Ladies and gentlemen, in the house tonight is our Guapolis, Neil Pettis! Our next judge is an architect by profession. A businesswoman and the CEO of two companies, Aviation and Finance Technology. She also assisted in the successful hosting of Miss Universe 2016 and judged the Miss Universe 2018. It is my honor to present to you Miss Rochelle Louise Singson Michael. Next, we have the president of the Designer Circle of the Philippines. Please put your hands together for Mr. Johnny Abad.
Our fourth judge is a business owner and co-manages Juan Planad and the project director of SMDC. Please welcome Ms. Jan Z. And to complete our panel for tonight, please welcome the president of PR Diamonds Realty Philippines, Mr. Dante Salaman. Welcome, judges. I know that your job is more difficult than mine this evening, and so uh, good luck to all of you. So, ladies and gentlemen, please hold on to your seats and those who are watching up at home because Eliminations is coming up next. You are watching the 13th Mr. International live in Manila, Philippines.
And welcome back to Mr. International. So this is the result of a week-long preliminary competition that included swimwear and evening wear rounds which was hosted by the province of Ilocos Norte where they were warmly welcomed by the Ilocanos and the genuine hospitality of the Filipinos rich tradition and culture truly from Ilocos Norte but all the candidates felt even more excited and great during the closed door interviews, believe me, we have put this gentleman on the spot. The selection committee and the Mr. International organization factored in the contestants' responses as they made a difficult decision in choosing our 15 semi finalists. And these 15 semi finalists will come from three regions from all over the world three from the Americas, three from Europe and Africa and three from Asia and the Pacific. But for those contestants who's not selected, they still have one more shot. Five wildcard spots are up for grabs and it can be drawn from any of the three regions and one from your pan vote. The preliminary results were tabulated by AAA and company CBA, represented by its managing partner, attorney Arnold Abdua. Now let's meet a distinctively handsome man wearing all original Filipino creation from the designer circle of Philippines, beginning with the 11 contestants from the Americas. Lucio Prado. Desde el país más diverso del mundo, Bolivia. Danielson Furtado, from the land of Carnaval, Brazil. Arturo Paredes, from the land of Merengue and Bachata, Dominican Republic. Gaia Jean-Louis, from the Pearl of the Antilles, Haiti. Piero Romero, from the land of ancient civilizations, Mexico. Nike Niño, from the land of lakes and volcanoes, Nicaragua. Juan Angel Gaviria, from the Panama Canal, Panama. Guillermo Valebuena, from the land of hidden treasure, Peru. Julián Rivera, de la Isla del Encanto, Puerto Rico. Nicolás Santos, from the Sunshine State of Miami, Florida, USA. Francesco Piscitelli, from the land of Warriors of Love, Venezuela. from the Americas, beginning with Bolivia. Brazil. Dominican Republic.
Haiti. Nicaragua. Panama. Venezuela. Another round of applause for the Americas. And now it's time to announce our first three semi finalists. May I request for the envelope, please? The very first contestant from the Americas to move to the semifinals is Panama. The 
the second semi-finalist from the Americas is... Venezuela! For the men of the Americas, there's only one spot left. And that belongs to... Dominican Republic! Let's give our first three semi-finalists a warm round of applause! Coming up next are the contestants from Europe and Africa region when the 13th Mr. International returns. Welcome back to Mr. International. The three semi-finalists from the Americas have been revealed. And now let's meet our 11 contestants representing Europe and Africa. Mohamed Mahouk from the country of chocolate, Belgium. Yuri Moniček from Šestajovice, Czech Republic. Claudio Schorstra from the land of tolerance and acceptance, the Netherlands. Matthias Duma from the land of the midnight sun, Norway. Tomek Zarzyski from the country of noble people, Poland. Igor Wojtyk from the largest country, Russia. Matyasz Mauri Bonsel from the west forest of Slovenia. Lebohan Ramizzi from the land of hope, South Africa. Jesus Collado from the land of flamenco and fiesta. Viva España! Kevin Graham from the land of Vikings, Sweden! Michael Freyer from the country of cheese and chocolate, Switzerland! Republic 
Netherlands. Men from Europe and Africa are all hoping to capture the title, but only three of them has to advance to the next round. It's time for another elimination. Here we go. Europe and Africa's first to enter into the semifinals is. Norway! Locking down the second spot is... Spain! Nine men are still waiting to hear their names, but there is only one spot left. Rounding up Europe and Africa, we have... 
Czech Republic. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen, Europe and Africa's best of the best. Coming up next, we have the, the man from the third region, Asia and the Pacific, when the 13 Mr. International returns. We've already met the contestants from the Americas, Europe, and Africa. From those two regions, six impressive men emerged. And now let's meet our contestants from our third and final region from the vast of China to the thousand islands of the Philippines. Say hello to the 17 men of the Asia and Pacific! Harrison Luna from the land down under Australia. Rui Tao Li from Guangzhou, China. Afide Christian Laya from the island where America's day begins, Guam. Wai Kim Kwan from the Pearl of Asia, Hong Kong. I am Balaji Murgadas from the land of culture and uniting diversity, India. Reza Praditya from the capital city of culture, Yogyakarta, Indonesia. Yoshi Takimura from the land of the lighting sound, Japan. Taewoon Hwang from the land of the morning calm, Korea. Hamata from the land of Caesars, Lebanon. Sylvestian John from beautiful land of Borneo, Malaysia. Prasan Zhang Saha from the top of the world, Nepal. And Kevin Balualua from the Pearl of the Orient Seas, Philippines. Fahmi Ashari from Lion City of Singapore. Amanda Amara Sekra from the island of lush rainforest, golden sandy beaches, and serendipity, Sri Lanka. Kevin Chay from the hearts of Asia, Taiwan. Nick Noisy from the land of smile. Thailand Chi Bao from the land of Gunz Dragon, Vietnam China Guam
Hong Kong. India Indonesia Japan Korea Lebanon Malaysia Nepal Philippines Sri Lanka Taiwan Thailand Vietnam
once again from Asia and the Pacific. These 17 men from Asia and the Pacific worked hard to make it into this nice competition, but only three of them will advance at the Mr. International title. So let's get it on. First from Asia and the Pacific to step into our 15 semi-finalists. The next contestant earning a spot is Vietnam. There is only one spot left. And the contestant, who will still have a chance to wear the sash tonight, is... Ladies and gentlemen, make some noise for our three semi-finalists from Asia and the Pacific. So 30 remaining contestants have one more chance to earn a spot in the top 15. Five wildcard spots and one from the fan votes are still up for grab when Mr. International returns.
Welcome back to Mr. International. We started the night with 39 contestants and so far, 9 semi-finalists emerged. And now we got 6 more spots available. That is right. Our wildcard selection can come from any of the 3 region. And we're going to find out who they are right now. The first of our wild card semi finalist is. Australia! Moving on to the semi finals is. Japan! Next to advance, Puerto Rico! Only three more spots remaining. Our next semi-finalist is... Korea! Our 14th contestant is one step closer to the title. And he is... Thailand! Well, this is it. Get ready. Our 15th and last semi-finalist who is also our fan vote winner is no other than Peru! Congratulations to our top 15 semi-finalists! You are watching Mr. International, live from Manila, Philippines! This is the 13th Mr. International. Let us all welcome back on stage our 15 semi-finalists wearing the Filipino barong that exemplifies the resilience, pride, and honor of the Filipinos. Each contestant should showcase his compelling and confident stage presence. They'll have to create a huge impact and then the selection committee will narrow the field into 10. Contestants! The stage is yours. We begin with Panama. Please 
Please walk, come forward, Mr. Panama. Venezuela. Ladies and gentlemen, your 15 semi-finalists. Eliminations coming up when Mr. International returns.
And welcome back to Mr. International. Our 15 contestants are about to be caught to 10. Our accounting firm and official tabulator, attorney Arnold Abdua, the managing partner of AAAM Company, CBAs have verified the results. May have the envelope, please. And it's time to reveal our top 10. Thank you, attorney. 
Are you guys ready? The first to move forward in the competition is... Venezuela! Also in the next round is... Norway! Earning the third spot is... Thailand! One step closer to the title is... Panama! Stepping into the sixth spot, we have... Hong Kong! Also advancing into the next round is... Dominican Republic! Just three spots left. Earning the next one is... Czech Republic! Locking down the ninth spot, we have... Philippines! Six men are still hoping to hear their names tonight, but there is only one spot left! And that belongs to... Vietnam! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, your top 10 finalists for the 13th Mr. International! When we come back, this man will go head to head at the swimwear competition!
Let's welcome the man in their swimwear. It's we out to get sizzling tonight. At this point in the game, there's no room for mistake. The contestants wearing a red around from Venezuela. Ladies and gentlemen, the swimwear competition now begins. We begin with Venezuela. Norway! Puerto Rico Panama Hong Kong Dominican Republic Czech Republic
Vietnam. Please welcome back the top 10 finalists in their swimwear. Ten world class men are competing for this one chance in a lifetime. By the end of the night, one of them will go home with a trophy. When we come back, the fight for the battle continues here at the Mr. International. Mr. International. Korea won their first Mr. International title when Suwon Lee became the 12th Mr. International in Myanmar. He has taken on that role with great enthusiasm and an inspiring drive to make a difference. He's raised the bar everywhere as Mr. International. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my honor to introduce the reigning Mr. International, Suwon Lee. Hello, Suwon. It's nice to see you again. How are you? And welcome to the Philippines. Yeah, I love Philippines. Thank you. Great. Philippines is great. All right. So your adventure as Mr. International has taken you to almost 10 countries. And you've made countless appearances. And you've also been a brand ambassador of a famous timepiece. So this is my question. For the man back there, what would be your advice to the next Mr. International? I want to tell them, uh, enjoy and be confident and make a good relationship with each other. 
Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, our reigning Mr. International, Suwon Lee. Coming up next in the competition, our evening wear. of our contestants to make a huge impression. Guys, the 13th Mr. International Evening Wear Competition.
Taking the stage, please welcome tonight's top 10. Beginning with Venezuela. Norway Thailand Puerto Rico Panama Dominican Republic Czech Republic Philippines Vietnam The top 10 finalists on 13th Mr. International.
right, so now that we've seen the swimwear and evening wear, who do you guys think will make it to the top five? Louder, please. Well, we all have our personal favorites, but the selection committee chose our top five, and we will announce that when Mr. International returns. Welcome back to Mr. International. These finalists have shown what they have, the drive and determination. But after the swimwear and the evening wear, the 10 becomes 5. The selection committee has spoken. And may I have the envelope, please? Thank you, attorney Arnold of Dua. Are you ready? The first contestant to make it to the final five is... Hong Kong! Alive in the competition is Vietnam. Earning the third spot is Philippines. Locking down the fourth spot is Czech Republic. Six men are still hoping to hear their names. But to complete our final five. Venezuela! Say hello to your final five! One of these amazing men will become a Mr. International. As exciting as it is, our contestants have no time to celebrate right now because we're about to make the final question. Mr. International takes on the responsibility of working as a global ambassador. 
He must be sharp, quick on his feet, and be able to communicate with clarity and confidence. Contestants, please get ready because your answers will determine who makes it to the final three. Tonight, the questions were written based on their profile. So once I have read the question, you have 30 seconds to answer, and once you hear the sound, your time is up. Some of our contestants will be using an interpreter. Let's begin with Hong Kong. Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay, here's your question. Male models are being paid considerably less than female models. What are your views about this? Again, male models are being paid considerably less than female models. What are your views about this? I think um, female model uh, in the market is very required. So um, um, every male model, they didn't have the, um, they didn't have the more required than the female model. So I think uh, female model, they would be get more higher pay than a male model. Yeah. Thank you so much. Give it up for Hong Kong. Now let's call in Vietnam. I believe we have an interpreter. Good evening. You want to greet the Filipinos? Mabuhay, Philippines! Here is your question. If Mr. International confessed of being married during his reign, should he be allowed to continue his duties? Again, if Mr. International confessed of being married during his reign, should he be allowed to continue his duties? Okay, okay. So, nếu như là uh, Mr. International ấy, mà thú nhận là mình muốn cưới cái vợ ấy, thì uh, cái người Mr. International này có được chấp nhận để mà uh, tiếp tục cái uh, cái việc giữ quyền lực của mình hay không? Xin phép trả lời ạ. Uh, Thầm nghĩ là có Bởi vì uh, anh ấy có thể tiếp tục Cái uh, trách nhiệm của một Mr. International Bởi vì kết hôn không có nghĩa là sẽ dừng lại Được cái trách nhiệm đó Và em nghĩ là một người vợ Yêu thương anh ấy sẽ Hiểu và luôn ủng hộ anh ấy Bất kể điều gì Em xin cảm ơn My answer is Yes He should be allowed to continue because his responsibility and duty does not stop at getting married and to be loved by a loving wife who will support and accept him for whatever is necessary and to be loved by somebody like that would help him to carry out his mission for the world a world of justice, freedom and most importantly love Thank you very much, Mr. Vietnam. That was tough. Now let's move on to the Philippines. I think he loves you too. <laughs> All right, good evening, Philippines. I assume we have a lot of fans here in the house tonight. Do you have any message for them? 
Maraming pong salamat sa mga nagpunta at mga sumuporta po sa akin hanggang sa uli. Maraming pong salamat. I love you all. All right. Are you ready? Here's your question. Recently, the Philippine Congress proposed to lower the age of criminal liability to nine years old. Do you agree or not agree with this proposal? Again, recently, the Philippine Congress proposed to lower the age of criminal liability to nine years old. Do you agree or not agree with this proposal? Para sa akin po hindi kasi um uh, marami pa rin pong mga bata ang na na ano ng magulang na hindi masyadong nagagabayan pero hindi naman sa isang pagkakamali lang eh kailangan na natin ibaba yung hatol sa kanilang mga bata. Uh, kailangan pa rin nila bigyan ng pangalawang pagkakataon para sa akin po. Thank you very much. Let's give it up for Philippines. Next, we have a Czech Republic. Good evening. As we say here in the Philippines, very Czech. Czech Republic. Are you ready? Okay. Do you agree that jobs should be more about skills rather than university or college degree? Again, do you agree that jobs should be more about skills rather than university or college degree? Uh, Mabuhay. Good evening, everybody. Uh, okay. I agree because I think that everybody uh, everybody should have opportunity and everybody can do something for another people and yeah so I agree thank you very much and we agree with you Czech Republic and to complete our top five let's call in Venezuela Good evening. Do you have any message for your Filipino fans tonight? Mabuhay, Philippines! Ready for your question. Venezuela, do you think a transgender man must be allowed to compete in Mr. International? Again, do you think a transgender man be allowed to compete in Mr. International? Well, I like your question. First, because it's something that I almost think every day. Right now, the world is changed, and we have to change with this, with it. And I think, yes, I'm agree. It's possible to, to allow this new uh, we call in Venezuela Cambio. Thank you. Thank you so much, Mr. Venezuela. So Cambios must be allowed to join in Mr. International according to Mr. Venezuela. Ladies and gentlemen, a warm round of applause for your top five. When we come back, another elimination round. This is the 13th Mr. International!
Mr. International would like to thank the following sponsors. One Esplanade, TPC Events Concept and Design, Resorts World Manila, Options Philippines, Sound Level, Oxin Film, Aqua Mineral, Elevation, our minor sponsors, Walker Philippines, AAA and Company, Le Premier Language School, Realm 727, Skin Philo Welcome back to Mr. International. We begin the competition with 39 contestants and now we're down to five. In a moment, only three finalists will be left standing. Are you guys ready? Before that, of course, we would like to thank PEPS Foundation Incorporated with its owner and president, Mr. Carlo Morris Galang. A big hand for him, please. And of course, we would like to thank the president and owner of Mr. International, Alan Sim. Special thanks also to Oxin Films. May you have the envelope, please. Thank you, attorney. Okay, get ready. Here are your final three. The first finalist is... Vietnam! Our second 
of the three finalists is... Venezuela! There is only one aim left for the other two finalists. Unfortunately, your Mr. International Dream ends tonight. Our final contestant in the top three is... Hong Kong! Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you your three finalists! Congratulations, and we will all see you later for your final look when the 13th Mr. International returns! Back to Mr. International. Our final three contestants are about to get one last chance to leave an impression. Our judges will make their ranking according to their final look. So, ladies and gentlemen, here they are. Vietnam Venezuela! Hong Kong Each of this man stand a reach within the title. When we return to Moment of Truth, you are still watching the 13th Mr. International.
back, everyone. Earlier tonight, we welcomed Mr. International Suwon Lee on stage. And now, it's time for his final walk before passing the title to another amazing man. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome back the 12th Mr. International Suwon Lee. <laughs> From a normal college student, my life was literally changed overnight since the day I became Mr. International. I have traveled to many countries during my reign and was culturally enriched by new friends from around the world. Being Mr. International is the highlight of my life and I will forever treasure the wonderful memories that I have made. I appreciate the love you have shown on me this past year and I have more than enough to share with the rest of the world. I would like to thank the Mr. International Organization, especially Mr. Alun Singh, for this opportunity. I have grown so much personally and professionally under your guidance and I will always be the distinctively handsome man that we believe in. Today, I hand over the great responsibility of Mr. International to the next meeting. I'm sure this title will also change your life as deep to mine. Araman Salamato. Thank you so much, Suwon Lee! Suwon have set such high standards for Mr. International. And it's in a just few moments, one of these three contestants will be following his footsteps. Attorney Arnold Abdua, the managing partner of AAAN Company CPAs, our official tabulator has tallied votes. And please hand me the results. May we call in our finalists. Are you all ready? To those who are watching back home, please hold on to your seats because we are about to announce the winners for tonight. I will be announcing the second runner-up. The second runner-up for the 13th Mr. International is... Hong Kong!
Congratulations, Hong Kong! Only two men remain. Vietnam and Venezuela, please take center stage. Both of you worked hard for this, but only one will be crowned as the 13th Mr. International. If in any reason the winner is unable to fulfill his duties, the first runner-up shall take place. To be clear to everyone, I will be announcing the Mr. International title. Are you ready? Your 13th Mr. International is Vietnam! And our first runner up is Venezuela! Ladies and gentlemen, may I present to you the 13th Mr. International, Shake Bao! Shake Bao, take your first walk as Mr. International! The sash has been passed, and we have a brand new Mr. International. My name is Michael Bristol. Good night, and God bless you all. Available at the entrance of the Bay Ballroom. We would like to invite all the winners to so please stay in front as we will be having our photo op. After the photo op, we would like to call the winners of Mr. International. We'll proceed at the back for the press conference and the interview. <laughs> <laughs> 